me take a quick selfie? Yes, yeah. All right. So, Governor Hobbs, how long did you know about the recount discrepancy in Pinal County? Re recount in Pinal County? What, are, what about the machine failures on election day? To get a photo and speak to Governor Hobbs? Okay, this is busy. You go to security, yeah. We're gonna have you walk this way. We can walk outside. Why, why am I being asked to leave? They don't want you in the party anymore. Oh, I mean, I, I bought a ticket and everything. Cool. Let's walk this way. someone who would have more information. The governor's security told the casino security, which is us, that it was time for you to go. Did it's they, just, did they say our, that? Did anything wrong? We don't, we don't know that detail. It's our job to ask you to leave the property because we're the casino man. <laughs> That's, that's all Katie Hobbs knows how to do. Run and hide. Hope that security guards are rhino Republicans so the corrupt legacy media stand between her and the truth. But alas, the truth is a way of catching up to you, doesn't it? We're going to take a look at the latest on Kerry Lake's ongoing lawsuit against Hobbs. We're going to see the latest polls that are huge for Kerry Lake in the U.S. Senate. And make sure to stick them to the very end of this video when I'll reveal what may really be taking Katie Hobbs down. You are not going to want to miss this. The Cary Lake team has announced that they have shocking new evidence that they'll bring before the court in the hearing next week. The Gateway Pundit reported a couple of weeks back that the Arizona Court of Appeals has agreed the Cary Lake's election lawsuit should be expedited, scheduling a conference and possible oral arguments on February 1st. And Cary Lake's team is promising... What they're calling shocking and earth-shattering evidence that has since been uncovered. Remember, there's been a number of whistleblowers that have been coming forth over the last few months. And you only need one with hard, ironclad, irrefutable evidence to come forward. And they may have found it. Here's Carrie Lake. Well, I think the, the new information that came out earlier this week where they, they're taking the case on the merits. This isn't just a, you know they didn't have to take the case. They could have said, you know, we're actually not going to take the case. And they said, actually, we looked at it, we're taking the case. And so Tuesday, the defense has to file their brief. And then we have until the 24th to file our rebuttal, I guess you could say. And then the three panel uh, judge uh, panel will take a look at it and make a decision. We are still going to push to get this into the Arizona Supreme Court. It's going to end up there ultimately. We'd like to see it go there sooner rather than later. We don't want to have this cartel operative, this cartel owned um, you know, goon, Katie Hobbs, sitting in the governor's office. Our state government is controlled by the cartels right now. The Secretary of State, Adrian Fontes, is a cartel attorney. And the cartels completely control Arizona. And that's not what the people voted for. We know they stole the election. We know they had intentionally sabotaged election day. And we, we proved that in court and we will continue to prove it. And we have more evidence coming forth. Now, I have to say that I find all of this very fascinating because Carrie Lake could easily throw in the towel here and move on to the next phase of her political career, which is clearly the U.S. Senate. We now have another poll that shows Carrie Lake with a very comfortable lead in a three-way Senate race in Arizona. Of course, the current senator, Kirsten Sinema, she left the Democratic Party recently. She became an independent. She will be challenged by a Democrat for that seat. And so in a three-way race with the center-left and radical woke-left split, Carrie's got this. But no, she's determined to follow through with her promise that she would not allow what happened in November to stand. And I have to say that that's an amazing testimony to Carrie Lake's character. You know, she's under pressure, right? Certainly by the Republican establishment, both nationally and in Arizona, to just, just throw in the towel in all this. But it's clear that she's determined to see this through, as she said, if necessary, all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait to see what this new evidence is and how it's going to play out. But either way, with the left killing themselves in this upcoming Senate race, Carrie has several options for her political future, fully acknowledging that as far as she's concerned, there's only one, and that's to stop Katie Hobbs. But Carrie's not alone. There appears to be a massive groundswell of support to do just that. It looks like the effort to end Katie Hobbs' tenure as governor is growing by the day, and you're going to absolutely love to see how. But first, Kang, this year, 
my family and I have decided to declare 2023 is the year of family preparedness in the Turley household. And we're going all the way, gang. We're covering all the bases, food storage, survival kits, and everything my family needs to make sure that we're going to survive whatever this upcoming year throws at us. I recently interviewed TJ Johnson, the founder and CEO of Ready Project. And if you haven't watched that interview, gang, you've got to. All right, I'll link it down below for you to check out. This interview will single-handedly tell you why I'm placing preparedness at the top of my priorities list. I invite you to join me this year in my resolution of family preparedness and take the immediate steps to get yourself and your family prepared today so you can eat tomorrow. And if you act right now, you can take advantage of Ready Project's special offer just for my listeners with huge limited time savings. So don't wait. Click on that link below to learn more about what my plan is and what I'm going to do to make sure my family has all the emergency essentials that will be needed. Join me, take action, click below, and let's get our families prepared together. Unfortunately for Katie Hobbs, Republicans control both legislative chambers in Arizona. And so there's already a Twitter campaign to pressure Republicans to call a special session do their own investigation to the Election Day shenanigans back in November, impeach Hobbs and throw her out of office. Now, admittedly, that is a very tall order given the amount of rhinos that dominate the Arizona Republican Party. Remember, Republican governor and leading rhino Doug Ducey completely ignored and discounted any hint of impropriety on Election Day and was one of the first to congratulate Hobbs on her so-called win. It was so nauseating. So a full impeachment is a tall order indeed for such feckless rhino Republicans who work together with Democrats to make sure that any and all MAGA candidates were defeated in November. So we're not getting anywhere with them. Instead, our hopes are most likely to be realized with the mass recall effort to get rid of Katie Hobbs that's already underway. Now, according to Arizona law, after the governor has served for six months, a recall petition can be submitted which has to include a certain amount of signatures in relation to the total number of voters in the last election. Well, those efforts at amassing such signatures have already begun. An organization called Arizona Citizens has begun the process of collecting over 600,000 signatures to recall Hobbs as soon as legally possible. You know, again, the irony to all of this is that if the process by which Hobbs assumed office was suspect, she herself has inescapably undermined the legitimacy of her own administration. In literally every single respect, Katie Hobbs has completely undermined any shred of legitimacy for her tenure. And so the very fact that recall efforts have already begun, and again, they're all over Twitter at this point, the very fact that serious recall efforts are already underway, not even six months into her governorship, is a foreshadow of what she can expect for the foreseeable future. So obviously we'll be keeping our eyes on how things develop here, but there's no question. Carrie Lake is absolutely determined to see this through and all the way. All the while, millions of Arizonans are ready to recall. This is going to be good. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on the end of the Biden presidency, why this latest stash of documents found is dooming Biden once and for all. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.